hello happy monday happy monday from home i don't know if you could tell by my voice but i am very nasally because i have been sick since friday and i did the antigen test like i did the rapid antigen test and i tested negative but my co-worker tested positive and like their symptoms started to like act up at the same time as mine and they did a PCR test so we're just gonna go with assuming that I have COVID because yeah like the antigen test is not as sensitive but uh anyways I'm a lot better now like this is a lot better than on Friday I am triple vaxxed it still hit me like I only got triple vax like very recently so I don't know if I was like at the highest immunity yet but anyways I'm checking in because I haven't vlogged in a while it feels like last weekend I was still in the lab doing some was it last weekend was it actually last weekend that I was in the lab since <laughs> Oh my goodness, we live next to a very yappy dog, so every time the yappy dog yaps, Carol also loses his shit. There you go. Yeah. Good. Quiet. Good. Anyways. Yeah, oh my gosh. That was only last Saturday that I was in the lab. And then Sunday I got vaccinated. And now it's Monday, so it's been a week. Uh, so, okay. I've been working on my thesis, and I feel like was it really just last week that I was vaccinated? Something doesn't add up. I feel like I have a foggy brain, like I have a foggy memory. Anyways, oh my gosh, where am I going with this? I'm frazzled because I got the approval from my committee members. So I have the approval to submit my thesis from all three committee members. And that was a process. That was a whole process because I was not expecting that many comments and revisions back from my thesis, which is silly, which is very silly. And definitely when you're writing your thesis, I don't know what kind of processes you all have with your submission, but we first have to get it approved by our committee members, at least two committee members. And then we send it off to UBC and then UBC sends it off to the external examiner. And then six to eight weeks after that we have our defense so i don't know why i just assumed that i wouldn't be getting any kind of feedback from my committee members i think because like there's this like myth going around that like committee members don't actually read your thesis they just scan it but i got really good committee members and they really really tore apart my thesis so i was in a whole state thank goodness it's done i don't want to look at it anymore and i just i'm waiting for the faculty to send me back this form i just need to get this form signed but by the faculty of pharmaceutical sciences by the dean and then i can finally submit my thesis so i'm just waiting it's like 3 37 right now 3 40 right now i sent off the email on saturday morning so obviously like no one's gonna no one's gonna look at it so i just hope that i can get that form back today so that i can submit my thesis and just like not look at it anymore but I wanted to hop on to kind of put a timestamp on this to document how I'm feeling and everything through this process because juggling work with revisions for my manuscript with thesis submission and then now that I'm done with my thesis and have officially like received approval from my committee members waiting to submit it, I have to start thinking about defending. And oh my gosh, like I am in a whole state with this because it's been two years since my comprehensive exam and obviously it's not as fresh in my mind all this knowledge I have to go back and restudy it and there was this one part on my comprehensive exam that I really flunked at which is chemistry like basic chemistry stuff so this is my like my insecurity and I don't know why I just freeze up every single time like of the most basic chemistry question is asked I freeze and just remembering what happened on the comprehensive exam like i'm trying my best to go back and like you know study the questions that i was asked and revisit those areas that i stumbled on and i feel like i'm learning chemistry all over again and it sounds crazy and it sounds really weird because like and what the heck like you're doing a phd then you use synthesis like you should know how this works on the molecular level and at any time when someone asks you in the middle of your sleep you should be able to answer these questions like that's how i feel that i should be able to answer but i just don't and i think this whole expectation that i have for myself and me obviously not meeting it because i'm really 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 like fuzzy on like chemistry stuff i feel pretty crappy about it so 
I'm going to be submitting it either today or tomorrow or like, you know, like the deadline is this week. So I'm going to be submitting it very soon. And if it goes anything like the way No Jude's went because she submitted hers last week, I'm going to be scheduling the defense time very, very soon. And once that date is set, like I'm already full of stress. I'm already full of anxiety. But once that date is set, I'll be even more stressed. And I don't know what my strategy is. I don't know how I should be preparing for my defense. Like I keep hearing everyone saying like, you know, just study your thesis, just study your thesis. Like just know what's on your thesis. But my thesis is freaking long and there are a lot of things on there. And just because I know what's on my thesis doesn't mean like, they're not just gonna ask one question, you know, like usually I think in a defense like they'll try to go at you until you can't answer it So you can go down a whole rabbit hole You can go down all the way to the level of like electrons and like molecular orbitals and why those things happen And then you can study all of like the quantum mechanics and everything and I'm just like, where do I stop? Like where where do I stop? <sighs> ah, oh my gosh I'm all tuckered out because I've been studying all day. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a breather, go for a little walk with this lovely guy over here. This lovely guy over here. Obviously, I'm gonna mask up, double mask. I don't even know if I should be going outside right now, but I'm just, I'm just dying. I'm just dying inside. Too much, too much. I will see you again very soon, hopefully, when I submit my thesis. And I think this time when I submit my thesis, it's gonna be the second last time, I think. Because once I submit it to UBC and they pass it on to the examiners, then it's defense. And then after the defense, I think there's gonna be some uh, revisions maybe with the, the examining committee. And then I'll submit it for real. So here we are. Here we are. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Hello, happy, what day is it today? Tuesday, a totally freaking Tuesday. And it feels like, oh my gosh, because I feel, what the heck is going on here? Oh my, oh my goodness, my body's just, my body's just falling apart. But I don't know if you can tell, I am a lot less congested today, so I feel a lot better. I just have a slight cough and like, a little bit of like a congestion but it's fine i'm fine finally i got the form back so that i could submit my freaking thesis this is i think i said yesterday or the day, whenever i was vlogging that this is gonna be the second time and then the final time is when after my defense i think so i i think that's how it goes i don't want to jinx anything so my thesis every time i look at it like i find something else that i didn't properly like do or whatever but this should be good it should be good i feel nervous because i think after i submit it depending on how they schedule and stuff i'm gonna get the defense date so okay 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 i'm just scrolling through it <laughs> oh no what good this is gonna do okay okay um, i'm just gonna type out an email I think we're just supposed to send it via email. So let me just type this. You stay here with me, please. And then we can hit send together. Okay. Okay. Today is January 25th. It is 6, 6 42 p.m. January 25th. Okay, I'll flip you around. Wait, let me, let me check, let me check. Okay. 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 Well, okay, that's off my hands now. I think that's it. I think that's really it. There's no point in me checking this again, right? Because I already sent it. So why am I still looking at this? I'll 
check it.